Hello my beautiful MK Love Fam and welcome back to another weekly angel guidance episode. If this is your first time here and you have no idea who I am, my name is Melanie K Love and I'm going to help you today deal with the energies associated from December the 3rd to the 9th. It's crazy that we're already in December because I just feel like that this year has like flown by in so many aspects and others it's like been a year of retrogrades and it's been really a testing time with our relationships. So let's just see what our beautiful angels have in store for us this week. We are going to be going through three different phases of the moon. The first one is the last quarter of the moon. This is when we breathe with ease and give back from a place of love. So this is going to be happening on Monday. This is the last part because we spoke about more of this last week. So Monday is just breathing with ease. This is when it's a beautiful time to balance all of the delicious goodness that you received last week and to give back to other people. So that's truly beautiful um, to remember. So make sure that you are balancing that. Then on Tuesday to Friday, we move into the balsamic moon. You guys know I'm a massive fan of the balsamic moon. This is when we reflect with gratitude and take time to rest. You guys know that during the balsamic moon, I literally take myself off social media. I disconnect and I don't work and it is amazing and I'm so excited. Peter and I are actually moving into um, a house sit. It comes with a pool, which is amazing because it is like 30, it's in the high 30s. Like yesterday it's 38. I don't know what the temperature is. I'm actually, let me just check. It's 33 degrees right now and we have bushfires like not too far from where we are. Sydney has like flash flooding and in California you guys had all of the bushfires as well so there's a lot happening it's interesting what happens in world events um, as to what's going on astrologically so it's just a little bit of a a little tough time right now okay so that's so the balsamic moon was basically from Tuesday to Friday so that's when we take time to rest disconnect of social media you know just Go outside if you can, read a book, go to bed earlier. It's just a time to really nurture and look after yourself. Then on Saturday, we have the new moon in 15 degrees of Sagittarius. So this is when we reset our intentions and we feel the emotions associated with what we're working on. So it's so important that from from Tuesday to Friday that you actually rest. Your body needs to rest. Like think of yourself like the different seasons. You know, a flower doesn't bloom all year round. They go through like ebbs and flows and changes. So think of the balsamic moon as like, you know, have a bubble bath, you know, um, go to the beach. Well, not if you're cold. I don't know, just go outside or, you know, snuggle up if it's raining, watch a movie, do the things that you haven't done all month. This is the perfect time to start it. Then on Saturday, it's the new moon. That's when you're gonna find new energies coming through. So the new moon carries from Saturday to Sunday. This new moon is the last moon. Well, for a new moon, I can't even talk today. Oh my God. Mercury retrograde is still here, guys, which is real in communication. Um, I'm so, I'm just got all of these songs in my head right now. It's like the angels are like, hurry up, Mel, get this out. We need to read for you. Okay, I'll be really quick. So this is the last new moon from the last cycle of the eclipse season because the next new moon is actually going to be in eclipse season. So much is happening. I feel like this is a time when we're like literally tying up the loose ends, ending the year, going out with the bang. <sighs> Anyways, I've just been dancing and singing, so I'm actually a little bit hot now. So let's just see what we need to know. That's like a five minute introduction. I hope you guys are all doing well and I really hope that you're really taking care of yourself, especially with Mercury being in retrograde. That's a planet that rules communication, technology and travel. So be very mindful about them. I'm sure you've probably already noticed um, some things going on. Uh, if you're brand new to the MK Love Fam, make sure you hit that red subscribe button and turn on the bell. That includes everyone else that's subscribed because I've noticed for me during retrograde, the channels that I'm subscribed to are not coming up in my subscriptions list. I've actually had to go onto their channel and be like, oh my God, I've missed like three videos from Our Curious Georgia. Um, 
that's one of my channels that I just love at the moment. So let's get onto it because I don't know what's happening. I'm feeling a bit tongue tied today. It's weird because that happened as soon as I press record. Anyways, we're using the Shadowscapes Tarot today. This is just a general reading. So just take from this what feels best. So angels, what do we need to know for Monday? Wow, breathing with ease. Whoa, dude, got the Knight of, no, the King of Wands. Holy flipping heck. Whoa, this is the highest that you can possibly get with the wands. What do you see when this comes up? This is like you've fought for your passions. This is like you're like, you should feel so proud of yourself. This is a truly, truly beautiful card. It's like, um, it's like you've stepped into your power. Oh, I'm trying to work out these songs because I've, I'm hearing so many and I know, don't know if it's because I was listening to them before I press play, but the King of Wands is just like, he has gone through so many obstacles towards getting to where he wants to be for his passion. And it's interesting that that's coming up because as I said, we're like tying up loose ends to finish off the year. And your angels are saying, dude, you should be so proud of yourself. You have achieved so much. You have navigated through contrast when so many people doubted you, but you kept with it because you knew it was in alignment with your true authentic self. And you kind of said like, shush to the haters and to, you know, the fear junkie in, inside of you. And you're like, no, you're not gonna, you're not gonna define who I am or make decisions because of lack, you know, you've just, it's just like a job well done. It's like, you should feel so proud. And this is a truly, truly beautiful energy. And I'm so happy for you guys. Like you've, you've done it. You've achieved this passion. Oh my goodness. So it's like you're breathing with ease now because it's like, you've did it. You've done it. Oh my goodness. That's a great way to start a week. All right, what do we need to know for Tuesday? This is in the balsamic moon. What do my MK Love Fem need to know for Tuesday, angels? One card. Shit. Okay, there was a lot. I'm just going to pick the one that... Ah, that's so interesting. The one that came by itself is the tower. Now, this has come up recently actually so the tower is your foundation it's like okay oh it's interesting because monday was like you finished something and it's like okay now this new foundation is appearing and sometimes when this happens it's not a, a pleasant way that it actually comes around however it does however something that has to burn or to be released or to move or it's just not a, it's just like something has to give something to do with your foundations and your stability. So this is your root chakra. So your root chakra, the angels are preparing you for, you know, 2019 when it's like your year that you're going to shine. It, you're just going to make 2019 the best year ever. 2018 was, it has been such a difficult year, but it has brought so many blessings. You have been through so much. You've been able to see people for who they truly are. Maybe this is you rethinking your friendships groups, um, the, pe the five closest people that you surround yourself with. This could be a job. This could be um, stepping up to a new level of business. Like I know there's a lot of like spiritual entrepreneurs that follow me. So what does this mean for you? So Tuesday, your foundations are shifting. So please keep in mind that this, these readings are based on Australian um, times. Where? We're um, Greenwich Mean Time plus 10. So we're ahead of a lot of you. Um, okay, so that's Tuesday. Foundations are shifting on Tuesday. For me, my foundations are shifting on Monday because we're moving on Monday. Well, maybe we're not. Maybe we're not moving until Tuesday. Who knows? It's interesting because I, I do these for different days of the week, but then when I look back at two weeks ago, what I said was going to happen on Thursday actually happened to me on Monday. So just take from this what feels best for you. Right, uh, one card for Wednesday, please, for the balsamic moon. What do we need to know? Ooh, okay. Ooh. Okay, Wednesday is the seven of wands. This is kind of like protecting. This is like, you're like the mama. Where is she? The mama trying to protect her little, um, are they wolves or foxes? I don't really know. But this is like protection. It's kind of like stepping in and saying, ah, no, don't you, like, how dare you speak to me like that? It's like, 
it's like the foundation had to come away and now it's like you're setting like new boundaries and saying, don't you dare speak to me like this or I can't believe that this is happening. No, don't say that. When that does happen, say, why? What, what, I, can't, I can't talk today, what's happening? When this comes up, just say thank you and what's the lesson I need to learn. I know a lot of you are dealing with a lot of complications with your relationships right now. So just be very mindful about the way you say things. I know for me, uh, my sun sign is Aries, so I'm a fire sign and you know, Mars is my ruling planet, which is interesting because, anyway, I won't talk about me, but um, yeah, rich rules, anger and aggression. And I know a lot of that's actually coming up with the new moon when I looked at the astrology of it. If you want to know more detailed um, report on that, astrologyking.com. Oh my gosh, the report he wrote up for the new moon, I was like, oh, there's a lot of like craziness coming up, but it's all about how you respond to it. Someone can be like an absolute bitch to you or be horrible and say all these hurtful things, but it's how you respond to it. You know, I always think of like how Louise L. Hay would respond if she's dealing with issues um, with people close to you. And she wouldn't be like, bleh, bleh, you know, like going off like a frog in a sock. She'd be like, um, I'm going to leave the situation right now because it looks like we're not coming to an agreement. Um, you know, it's like, what would your higher self do in those situations? So I always channel Louise L. Hey, when, um, when I'm in those situations and be like, okay. Anyway, it's taken me a really long time to deal with that. I'm, you know, it's something that never gets done. There's always something else to work on. So it's just like whatever comes up, Protect what is yours, because remember last week was um, um, not ready to make nice from the Dixie Chicks. That was the theme. So maybe this in this is still going, still going on. Okay, let's see what we need to know for Thursday. Whoa, one card for Thursday, angels, please. What do we need to know? interesting we've got two cards this time oh okay so we've got the page of swords this is like she's just taking herself like removing herself from the situation and she's like not getting caught up with like all the darkness but she can like easily sway both ways because there's also like white um what are they swans the white swan is actually holding a flower and it looks like, um, it just remind me of the, the, the rose from Beauty and the Beast, where it's like when the last petal drops, that means that something changes. So it's, what does that mean? I've never seen that there before. It's like she just wants to surround herself with pure positive energy and she doesn't want to get caught up in all of the in all of the contrast around you and it's like okay she's choosing how to act like you're literally choosing how to act on Thursday and you're not going to be caught up in all of this drama you say what you need to say and you say it from a place of love and not hurtful and trying to like you know really push someone's um, buttons you're not trying to do that at all you're like you say what you need to say to stick up for yourself and then you remove yourself from the situation you raise your vibration and you're just like taking care of yourself and that's a really beautiful thing because so many of you may just get caught in that circle of the cycle of attack. And you're like, actually, I'm not going to do that anymore because I know when I do that, what happens? It's not healthy. It's always toxic. And that is not who I am anymore. I'm becoming this beautiful butterfly. I'm preparing myself for next year. And the person that I want to be doesn't do those things. Then the other card that came up was the two of wands. So this is interesting because I feel like this new foundation that came, that is coming um, from Tuesday, however these new things have happened, because you've got the king of wands. So you finished a chapter and now you're starting something new, however this looks. So the two of wands is like, you know, surveying the land and you have your protector there which is your lion i feel excuse me i feel like your lion is kind of like your intuition your higher self your angels um 
you know, really being aware of those decisions and know that you were always divinely protected. Protected. Every single day, you are literally protected. And we've got three, three wolves. Can you see them? Like just here. And there was another one around here. So it's like you're, you're starting this new journey. You've got the sun shining on you. It's like there's no darkness. It's like you're starting a brand new journey. And it's like, maybe that's interesting. Maybe the page of swords was where you were like taking yourself away from the contrast. It's like you're taking yourself away because you're beginning this new journey. This is you know, you're not this person anymore. You're not surrounding yourself with these people anymore because you're like, <laughs> and then that song, It's Not Too Late from um, Ricky Lee. Uh, Cause it's not too late to start over again. That's a really hard song to sing, but if you're on my mailing list, you would have seen I emailed that song maybe about a month ago to you. Okay, that's so interesting. You guys should be so proud of yourself. You're literally changing everything. You're literally becoming a different person. You're responding differently to situations which you haven't done that before. All right, Friday. What do we need to know for Friday? Friday is still in the balsamic moon. It's the last day. Oh my gosh, so when am I actually gonna film? I have to do it on Saturday. Ooh, wow. Okay, we've got the Seven of Cups. So this is like options and it's like, I don't know which one to choose. So it's like, listen to your heart. What do you feel like is the right decision? It's like, you feel like you've kind of like, not at a crossroads, but it's like, what do you feel is truly right for you? And you know, it is nice to bounce ideas off people who you trust and who have your best interest at, at hand and truly understand you like, and literally want the best for you and not, and they are there people that don't want things just so you fit into this box. They're literally people who you can trust your life with. And I'm sure that there's only a small few that you could just count on your hand, but that is enough. Whoever those people are, hold them deeply to your heart because those people could help you you know, point things out that maybe you missed because we're in retrograde energy. Communication is stifled. And this is the time where we're seeing things that maybe we didn't see before. So yeah, that's for Friday. So just be open to that. And then on Saturday, we have the new moon in Sagittarius. The last new moon of 2018. Holy flipping heck. All right. Wow. Okay, thanks. And this card for Saturday is, ooh, we got this last week, the Seven of Pentacles. This was one of the theme cards for last week. This is all of this delicious goodness is coming to you. It's literally coming to, well, it is here. And then I heard that song from Chicago. He had it coming. He only had himself to blame. If you'd have been there. You would have seen it. I bet you, you would have done the same. Even though that's like not a good scene from Chicago. It's like he had it coming. He knew that this goodness was literally on its way. I don't know if the full song, just don't take the full song. Maybe just take that small little clip. Um, Seven of Pentacles, it's like you choose. Do you pick the fruit now or do you wait for it to drop on the ground or do you let it rot? Like literally, what do you want? Is I feel like the, the fruit is ripe for picking. And it's interesting, it's like the abundance is here in this new moon. This abundance that, you know, maybe you haven't received all year, it's here and it's literally coming. You had it coming. Okay, what do we need to know for Sunday? Oh goodness, what do we need to know? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> there's a lot of cards that fell and they came in two piles stuck together. But the first card that I saw, you're gonna love this. Cause I'm the queen of the night. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the number. Don't make no difference if it's wrong or right. Da -da. I <laughs> Maybe in 2019, I'll be able to channel lyrics. Oh, my computer just 
This has been happening all in retrograde. My computer is set to do not put the screensaver on, but what does it do? It puts the screensaver on and then you're like, okay, that's fine. Whoa, the Queen of Pentacles, she's been through hell. She has been through so much. She's dealt with all of her limiting beliefs. She has programmed her mind for success. She is deeply rooted in financial prosperity. Prosperity in however that looks like for you. This could be literally unconditional inner peace, inner freedom. This could literally be self-love, like loving the absolute, I'm trying not to swear. <laughs> That's something I'm working on. It's like, you're so nurturing and loving and it's like, is that the star or the moon? I think it's both. It's like, you're just so beautiful. You're so grounded. You're literally taking care. Oh, taking care of business every day. Taking care of business. I just heard that song. That's interesting. Oh my gosh, so the new moon is bringing you lots of abundance, however that looks for you. It's like things had to change. Let's go back to this one. Whatever this means for you, this stability, that had to happen. And when it happens, just be prepared for it and be prepared not to go into this like attack dog mentality, okay? This is, you know, but also stand up for yourself. You do have a backbone. And just know, as you do that, you're gonna start attracting this abundance to you. This could be new, beautiful friendships. This could be a new job. Um, oh my God, this is incredible. The new moon is literally preparing you for your abundance. This is incredible. Let me just pull a card to get the overall theme from this week, because we're at 25 minutes already. My, com my camera's about to shut off in, nine, in four minutes. Okay. One card to summary, summarize the whole week. Let me try. All right, I'll shuffle. My heart is just like, so excited. <laughs> Celebrate good times, come on. Okay, okay, I'm dilly, I'm dilly. Right. <gasps> I feel so excited. I'm about to lose my mind and I think I like it. Wow. I didn't know, I, why am I still flustered? I danced like 40 minutes ago and I still feel like hot. Ooh. That one? Okay. Ooh. It's probably not the card you wanna see right now, but just know that these things that we have spoken about, especially the tower, like your foundation's changing and the seven of ones is like standing up for yourself and don't over assert yourself or, you know, start a fight with somebody. The overall theme for this week is the two of swords. And it's like, you just need to sometimes just allow the, sh I can't, I'm just gonna say it, allow the shit to hit the fan and go with it, navigate it. It's how you react to when contrast comes up. How you react to this determine it's like, you know, and then I heard, I get knocked down, but I get up again. You never gonna get me down. It's like, yeah. Ooh. And then I heard, this is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Feel the earth moving. Let the sky fall. Let it crumble and we will stand tall and face it all together as sky fall. Okay, so allow, allow, this, allow the shit to hit the fan. It has to happen. It has to happen. As I keep hearing, he had it coming. You know, this is what, this is happening for a reason. Don't be scared of it. Just be like, thank you. Because it's like, um, oh my God, now the song isn't coming. Big wheels keep on turning, and we're rolling, rolling, rolling down the river. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's like you're rolling down the river. You've got the oars in the boat. You are going with the stream, and that is taking you to 
everything that you have literally asked for, it's just looking different. I say that all the time. It's literally looking different to the way you had envisioned, but holy flipping heck, it is preparing you for the eclipse season in 2019, starting in January. Oh my gosh, in January. So yeah, just go with the flow. You are literally on the right path. Don't overthink things because, you know, when contrast arises, yeah, it hurts. It hurts your feelings. And people can say some really awful things during this time, but say, thank you. What is the lesson? And retreat, literally retreat and have some introspection. Journal until your hand cannot write anymore. Take it, remove yourself away from the situation and be like, okay, Everyone's going through their own battles. Like literally everyone is going through their own battles. You may think that I have it all together, but oh my gosh, if you knew what happened this year. Oh my gosh, I literally, when did I move to Mackay? Peter and I moved to Mackay in March, uh, May, beginning of May. And I can tell you right now, I have not cried more in the last six or seven months than I have I've cried more in the last six or seven months than I have in my whole entire life. It's been like healing childhood traumas, dealing with what happens when people go through divine interventions, when they hold on to so much toxicity and it manifests illness and disease within their whole body. And it takes them right down to the, the very bottom of the emotional guidance scale. And that's tough to witness. It's like, it literally had to happen for me to rebuild and be like, okay, what is important? What can I learn from the mistakes that other people have made around me? Like literally, what can I learn? And I'm so grateful for all of the lessons. I'm so grateful for dealing with contrast. Um, you know, contrast is not easy. It's so painful, especially when people around you know how to, to pierce your heart chakra in a way that's like putting the knife in and twisting it. And you're like, I choose how I react. I want you to repeat this affirmation. I am so happy and grateful for contrast as it's literally preparing me for what I have asked for. Say it out loud. I don't care if you're at the library or on the tube or whatever that is. I want you to say this. I am so happy and grateful for contrast as it's literally preparing me for where I want to go. I don't know if that was the same, but you get my gist. Contrast is beautiful. Embrace contrast. Allow the sky to fall because it's bringing you to where you need to be. Anyways, my love, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you, especially you've watched 30 minutes of me going. Blah, 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 blah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If I could reach through this screen and literally hug every single one of you and have a cup of tea with you, you know that I literally would. So thank you once again, be very mindful of the energy. Remember from Tuesday to Friday is the balsamic moon. Please go to bed early, please look after yourself. Whatever you need to do, do it. Call in sick for work, great. Take a holiday, do it. Go out in mother nature, a plus that would be amazing because what's coming for you in this new moon is the abundance you have been seeking it's coming i'm so friggin' excited for it it's like ah it's like you've paid your dues you know you've literally paid it and 2019 is gonna be it's gonna it's gonna come with its challenges but it won't be as difficult as 2018. Anyways, my love, I love you. I love you. I love you. Please comment down below. Let me know what has been going on for you. And if you're watching the live chat right now, can you comment in the box? Where are you watching from in the world? Literally type it right now. And as I'm, you probably have already realized, I'm actually responding to you live. This is YouTube's new um, feature. It's called Premiere. Um, I think I like it. I kind of like chatting to you, but I haven't seen the chats from when I do the live chats actually go down below in the comments section. YouTube says they're meant to do that, but I haven't seen them yet. But um, yeah, anyways, guys, I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week when we're in the new moon in Sagittarius. Abundance is coming. Uh huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I've been talking for 32 minutes and my microphone, which is attached to me, is flashing. Gotta go. Love you. Bye.